Are you small and flexible? Do you enjoy crawling into confined dark spaces? Do you want to work around toxic chemicals with the constant threat of exploding to death? If so, we have a job for you. While not as glamorous as this description makes it sound, the position of fuel tank maintenance person, or tank diver as it is sometimes called, is vital to the aviation industry. These are the men and women who crawl inside aircraft fuel tanks to find and repair leaks and other structural malfunctions. Fuel technicians handle all the operations involving the pumps, valves, manifolds, and other aspects that encompass the fuel cell. The massive black bladders that hold jet fuel within the wings and run down the bottom of the aircraft fuselage. It's a risky job to say the least. Boeing's manuals say the risks include chemical risks primarily exposure to jet fuel, and also to other hazardous chemicals like methyl ethyl ketone, a solvent used in the manufacture of synthetic rubber, paraffin wax, and other chemical products. Physical risks, the primary one being confined into a small space from which it is difficult to escape in an emergency. The entryway into fuel tanks in larger aircrafts measure only about two feet wide by one foot high, typically with only one access hole between each rib section in the wing. On Boeing aircraft, the inboard portion of the wing tank offers just enough clearance inside of the tank for a maintenance person's head, shoulders, and trunk, leaving the legs outside of the access hole. The tank becomes smaller as it progresses further outboard on the wing until it may accommodate only a maintenance person's head and shoulders. The most outboard section of the wing may only have enough room for a maintenance person's hands and arms. To enhance safety, there are several tips typically followed prior to entering the tanks for maintenance. These include electrically grounding and defueling the airplane, having fire protection equipment readily available, deactivating fueling and fuel transfer systems, and ensuring adequate ventilation. Ensuring proper ventilation is literally a deadly serious aspect of tank maintenance. Most manufacturers recommend fresh exterior air as the best choice. With higher levels of outside air pumped into the tank, there is less chance that any fuel vapors would ignite. You might think that pumping an inert gas like nitrogen into the wing to totally eliminate the risk of fire would be a logical thing to do, but it's not really a best practice. That is, unless you want to quickly kill your maintenance people inside due to oxygen starvation. Maintenance workers typically wear respirators that purify the air and also use tools and monitoring equipment approved for use in a flammable environment. Even a small spark from an electric drill could mean disaster. In addition to all this, properly training the workers is paramount. No one wants to damage the inside of an airliner's wing. The components inside fuel tanks, such as pumps, quantity systems, and associated wiring and conduits are vulnerable to damage if they are struck or dislodged. Also, the containment properties of the fuel tank can be compromised if the sealant is damaged or dislodged or if fuel tank bladders are penetrated. Sound like a fun job? 